Wish people would move beyond the candidate, the emotional partisan fuel that divides us. An Indianapolis man is speaking out after someone swiped the political signs from his yard. He says he caught the theft on camera and he told Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker that he's taking the evidence to police. Emily? Well, John, everywhere you look here on Central Avenue in the 5600 block of Meridian Kessler, you see different political signs, all of them different, representing both sides. But the guy who keeps putting up this Trump sign says he's having a hard time hanging on to it. Check out this cell phone video we recorded Saturday afternoon. When you zoom in, it might be hard to see at first, but that's a Trump sign in the back of the little black car that quickly zooms away. A Trump sign that was in Lex Faye's front yard. It was the second one Faye put out there after he says two women with a baby carriage took the first one a week earlier. That time Faye wasn't rolling, but says the women stopped out in front of his house. He could see them from where he sat in his office. A minute later, Faye says he went outside and his sign was gone. As if they actually did have a kid in the stroller, then yes, that's stealing, like right in front of them. And it's a sign. I know in the grand scheme of things, it's not really that big of a deal, but it is personal property on someone else's property. Faye says he's also had a Trump bumper sticker defaced while parked downtown. He's replaced it just like he has both Trump signs. Faye's not surprised by the trouble he's had, pointing to election rhetoric he calls nasty and divisive. You know, our opinions don't really matter. It's just the fact that we can express these opinions. That's, that's what matters. And if we turn on each other for our difference of, of opinions, um, you know, I just think we need to be uniting behind our common bond, which is the ability to express those opinions. That's what makes us unique. Faye has a message for the people taking his signs. I hope they would kindly return it, and we could have a lovely French po front porch. We can have some drinks, scotch, cigars. We can talk about the American flag right there. I mean, we can just chill out and have a good time. Faye's got a new sign out front. He's hoping a third time's the charm, and he's got metal cables around the sign and tree out front to help ensure that it is. Now, Faye says he did report the second incident to police, but he is not interested in pressing charges. Police say they've had similar reports of other political signs being taken. They said it is theft uh, to whoever's responsible, whoever is taking signs out of people's front yards. Faye says he will be glad when this election is over. Jenny? I think a lot of people share that sentiment. Emily, thank you.